teams across in North America can, can actually produce with their travails at the moment. But uh, it's been entertainment all by itself. But what have we had? Look ending that. We've had fabulous LMP1 action. Absolutely fabulous LMP1 uh, one action. And really great news to see Toto coming with a race win against what is still an Audi steamroller and a hugely impressive one of that. And then GTE has been epic. Absolutely epic all year. Uh, came down to the wire uh, in every single way. All three manufacturers came with a chance of actually winning the title. All three manufacturers looked at one point as if they had a chance of doing that and snatched away from us in the most cruel way. But well done to Ferrari, well done in particular to Jimmy Grooney, a very class act indeed. And let's hope, John, that persuades the guys at Maranello to um, sign a few papers and let's have them back. Oh, yes, absolutely. I think the experiment of the latest start here with the uh, floodlights, I know it was. A, a bit of a, a certainly an experiment to prove the concept for Formula One however I liked it I don't care what the reasoning was behind it I think it's a great idea it gave the race a, a different uh, atmosphere uh, a very special atmosphere as we race mostly in the evening time and uh, I tell you now when Formula One come back in, in 2014 and all of those lights on my goodness that is going to be a sight uh, to behold uh, once again the Bahrain circuit has done a good job and it races very well here. It's just unfortunate that the crowd doesn't come here at the moment, but to, I think, to abandon it now would be wrong. There is a building, uh, clearly a, a building uh, audience for motorsport here. They do have a car culture here in the Middle East and here in Bahrain. And uh, to abandon this now, I think, would be wrong, just as it's beginning to pick up a little bit of momentum, much more. Many more hospitality places sold here than ever before uh, at uh, Bari.